gonna get out of the sun. I hope I can read the screen. It's going. Hold on, Tazzy. Now you want to go inside? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? What time is it? Uh, hmm. I know you get, you're probably getting ready for bed. Hola. Let me see. Hola. Hi, Lisa. Uh, hi, from Japan. Titus, right? Do I say that right, Titus? Titus has a big cactus collection in Japan. Maxi, come here. Hey. Yes, okay. So, you guys know that I have been doing videos in Spanish too, so there is possibly people here that will ask questions in Spanish, I'll answer in Spanish, but I'll repeat it in English as well. Oh, she, she's good. It's like nothing ever happens, so I'm super, super happy. But let me tell you, um, yesterday was the first day that I decided to share her story on Facebook. Um, to give awareness for other people. Um, what's it called? I guess it was harder to share on Facebook. They were gonna reach out and ask me questions and stuff. I don't know. So maybe I wasn't ready to answer these questions. I don't know. It's just more, and, and maybe it was also because so many, it was gonna pop up on my feed so much. And I tell you right now, every time I scroll through my feed, um, I see it, I have to swipe it because it'll quickly choke me up. Yeah, just right now, just talking about it. Mm -hmm. It'll quickly choke me up. Yeah, because um, it's just hard. It's hard to think that she, um, you know, almost died, so yeah. But um, so earlier when I did my setup, that took a while. There was no sun here, but now there's sun, but we'll deal with it. Uh, so yeah, let me see. I don't want to miss any. Comenzo to put. Oh, okay. So I have someone here asking me in Spanish, how did I start um, collecting my succulents? So I'm just going to answer real quickly. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. So I don't do these very often. <laughs> Um, but I was watching Melissa and she inspired me. I'm like, oh, I haven't done that. I just wonder how, I don't know if there's a setting where she can see, where she can see constantly the feed because I'll see your message right now, but it's like for a second. If I'm looking away planting and then look up, I'm probably not gonna see your message. So I would have to like constantly touch here. What time is it over there? Uh, it is 8 o'clock here. It's 8 something already. Um, so yeah, let me see. I can see. Oh no, it's almost 9 because Lisa 
is in Florida and it says nine. It tells me the time when you get the message. So let me ask, yep, Titus speaks 13 languages. Uh, I, I, I admire Titus a lot. Um, I believe it's a he, right? I get confused. I can't remember because so many people talk to me, but um, Titus is a missionary in Japan and has a big cactus collection and speaks how many languages you said 13 languages so yeah so let me just answer um hi from Chicago I have family in Chicago I, I used to go around blue. so let me just answer the question real quick in Spanish about how I started and then I'll repeat it to you guys in English she just asked me a question how I started collecting So lo que pasó era que yo estaba interesada en haciendo un jardín de fairies para mi hija y coleccioné, a I mí mean, hice hice un um, hice uno, después um, sabes se puso feito y saqué una de las matas ni poniéndole atención y la puse en mi cocina. Fue la Echeverria por Newtonberg y se estiró. Bueno entonces yo dije wow qué le pasó. Um, lo busqué en internet que le pasó porque se estiró so, miré y vi que tú la podías cortar y echarle raíces y eso me fascinó esa idea de que podía reproducirse así so what happened was that um, yeah there's a euphorbia right here hi Lily from India so what happened was she asked me how did I get into succulents so I it was spring you know spring triggers everyone to start planning And I decided to do a fairy garden for my daughters when they were younger. I decided to do that. And then um, I think after a while, it wasn't looking so good. So I pulled out one of the, I pulled out Echeverria from Nittenberg. I didn't know anything about succulents. And I brought it inside and put it by my window because it was pretty to look at. So it stretched out. And I decided to look up why did that happen. And while looking up the information of why it happened, that it didn't get enough light, there was, it also mentioned how you can correct it, that you can just cut it let it root and then you know plant it. so that was amazing to me when I saw that you can do that to a plant and it could reproduce like that so easily I was amazed and then when after that that stem produced heads I was like what's going on so yeah that's what really called my attention about about that oh, okay so I had intentions of potting with you guys What is, what is Gabe Horn? What is that? Is that a plant? Good morning from Albany, Georgia. Hi, Catherine. Hi, D is it Diana? Diana. Yeah, hi, Diana from Bonita Springs, Florida. I love... I don't know what it is. I'm from Turkey. Hi, Jas Jasmine, right? Jasmine. Yep. Hi, Jasmine from Turkey. So I was thinking about um, doing a potting video because I got these cute pots from the Dollar Tree. Hold on a second. I had the rainbow cactus and I and a couple of two heads and Oh wow, the rainbow cactus, yes. Um, you know, I just, I did a video, I haven't posted it, on my rainbow cactus. I don't know what happened to that cactus. I guess because I don't tend to repot my plants very often. And if you want them to grow um, and multiply, I guess it is recommended to repot them, you know, once they grow. Um, but this one was there for a while and it had a bunch of babies you know a bunch of heads a bunch of pups so i don't know if the pups just sucked that rainbow cactus to a little thing is that what happened titus so that rainbow cactus went from this to this because i went ahead and i removed all the pups and it went to that and then also in my greenhouse i don't water very often so I think that that's why it didn't get bigger and that's why the pups did what they did. Hold on, let me see more people. So let me see. Uh, hola, Scott, Scotland Harking. 
Hi, Tisha. Morning from Florida. Hi, Nick. And the bakery, all oh, the cactus. Yeah, I already took the cactus out. The whole cactus went from a ball to this. And then all the puffs did not all didn't get big either. But it had tons of puffs. Like you could barely see the head. But once I removed all the puffs, all that was left, and I can see a video of when I first had a cactus, it was thick. So I wonder if that's what happened. Hi from the Philippines. Hello. I don't know if I'll get to planting. Uh, Lisa, I do sell sometimes on Instagram, sometimes. And uh, when it's getting like too, uh, when I'm having too many babies and I don't have like what to do with them or where, or just multiple of the same plant, I'll do that. Um, the only thing is I do struggle out a little bit because, um, I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit, I'm, I try to be perfect and I know that's not good, but it happens. Hi, Carlos. Thank you. So, what is the tall plant next to you? This one, this is a euphorbia. Um, and there's different ones, like different colors. There's a green one that have, will have green leaves. This is the purple one. But it is very common to find at Home Depot or Walmart. I have seen them very often. Um, and, and you can propagate them easy. Hold on, not set questions here. So about selling plants, so sometimes, um, okay, so like, uh, let me, what, what was I going to say? Let me think. Okay, so calcoy <clears throat> won't look as pretty when it's shipped as an echeveria. Echeveria is full of water, right? A thick plant. Calcoys are thinner. Also, you'll notice a calcoy, if your calcoy falls on the ground, and you leave it there for one day, just one day without picking it up, you'll quickly see that it bends up like this. Even a, even um, like a, like a sedum, a sedum plant maybe, like any of the sedum plants um, that may fall. Like if I take one of my pieces of California sunset and I just lay it on the ground just to leave it there, say, to um, dry the stem, it will curve a little bit looking for the light. So, um, that i'll worry about that like if the person gets the plant they'll think that oh something's wrong with the plant look it's curved no it's just looking for light once you plant it it will straighten out because i've had that happen many times when i um what is it called when i've propagated plants i've laid them i've laid laid them flat on a surface and then when i look they start to curve so now what i do is in the greenhouse i have a shelf that has like um pocket like this or lines whatever you want to say in between each little thing so I kind of prop them up in there so they're upright already so they won't curve so that's what I do with that so that is to be expected if you bought, purchase a plant that is not like a cactus or a very thick uh, juicy succulent it's probably gonna look a little bit wilted as well so you want to as soon as you receive it you want to plant it water it, and put it in bright light not or our morning light not afternoon because well it was it's not ready for that okay let me go through all this hold on so yeah uh let's see marissa emily from texas oh hi emily from texas this is oh hi succulent teacher i see her on instagram a lot uh, let's see who else oh thank you you know uh, so I'm going to be a, I'm a typical person. I'm, I am. I'm a typical person just like anybody else. And I'm very um, hard on myself. So, uh, yeah, sometimes it's hard and I, I won't want to be on camera. And I used to do it a lot. I'm my Some of my videos are very old of when my daughters were first born, of when the iPhone first came out. Because I used to um, show people how to... When, remember back in the days when they used to jailbreak their phone? Um, I used to help people fix their MMS because they would jailbreak it and not receive pictures. So I used to help people on how to figure that out. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm, I gotta start planning because that was. So thank you so much, Jasmine. My cactus collection has grown to, oh my gosh, 5,760. Wow, that's a lot. 
Diana, what, what, what is that ghost? Maybe did you say something? What is the tall plant next to you? Okay, I don't know what that means. But, so anyways, so this, right? I got that from Dollar Tree and my plans are to have them on the fence over there, but the fence on that side gets afternoon sun, but it starts only from one um, to three o'clock. So three hours sun, I'm hoping that they'll be able to survive, right? It's going to be an experiment. So I'm going to risk a bunch of plants. I've decided that I'm going to risk a bunch of plants, but currently they are getting afternoon sun. So my concern is for the summertime, not now. I'm not concerned now, even though here we have gotten 90 degree weather lately. Um, but yeah, but my concern will be more for um, afternoon sun. So we'll just see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, so I want to plant this up and... Um, what's it called oh i've been watching so many different um youtube channels and i'm so inspired by all of them um there some of them are spanish english it's um i'm grateful that i can speak two different languages i wish i could speak more languages um but i'm, I'm limited to english and spanish and what else uh, what else did i want to say so yeah I wish I could understand more. Like I see Korean videos, they have some really nice plants, but I don't <laughs> understand what they're saying. Even though I'll still watch, you know, uh, to try to, um, you can kind of put together what they're talking about. The only thing you probably wouldn't know is instructions on probably how to take care, because you wouldn't know what they're saying. But if they're potting an arrangement, or if they're making a pot, because I've seen people make pots, I can kind of tell what they're talking about. So, I have several different plants here that I want to try to plant. I think that might do well. I kind of have an idea that they might do well only because of plants that I have that are older, that have been in the baskets that I can see that are doing well and they have not been murdered by the hot sun. So, let's see. Are you guys still, still there with me? So, I'm going to need some soil. Let me bring this down for you. You guys might not see my face too much, and hopefully, I can see your messages. I'm gonna burn this down a little bit. Okay, let's see. I think that's good, and I can kind of see everything. Fix my shorts. I'm sitting down in my shorts. Move a little bit. Oh. Okay, I think that's good. So yeah, look, I can kind of see. Hopefully, I can read all your messages while I pop. Um, this is Melissa's idea. Hi, Carmen from Stewart. Hi from Florida. Hello, Joanne. Let me continue to look. I go. And Max is over here laying next to me. Can you imagine if live was on Zoom? You know how Zoom people can hear each other? How crazy would that be? That'll be hard though, I think. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I can't put too much soil because some of these have lots of soil. I mean, I could remove some of it, but yeah. So one of the first ones that I want to do is this one. You know, I have seen this one in other people's videos and they're big. Um, so her videos are in Spanish, but her name is um, I think Mundo Suculenta, which is like World of Succulents, so, but the name is Spanish, the, the title of the channel. And she has like a really huge basket of it. And many people, when I hear them talk about this, it's like, it a lot. So, um, I wish that, um, this is my first time having this, so 
hopefully I can take care of it. And But it does, so um, here, I need to just make sure that this one gets a little bit more water. Let's see. Hi, Emily. Hi. Spike Lee. So um, my sister's name is Diana. Diana, but um, I think there is. Her name is Diane, not Diana, though. Her name is Diane. So anyways, I want to put this one here. I, ha I want to make these compact. So I think that will limit the growth of this one. But maybe next time that I see this one, like at home, Lowe's or, or Home Depot, maybe I'll buy it and put it in a basket with the hopes that it gets really big. Because I have seen them big. And some of these babies are going to be difficult. Let me, you know what? Maybe I'll probably these small ones that I know that are going to be a little finicky and staying upward. Let me try to see. Do you have any more of the pink? I do. I do. I do. So it's starting to have the little um, babies at the top. But um, what's it called? Those can fall during shipping because it's very fragile. And then that's the plant that I'm saying. If I, if I ship that plant, it can curve. But once you plant it, it will um, get up. You know, it will, it will correct itself. But, um, so I've had people, I don't know if they're watching here, but they're, they're on Instagram and they have bought that plant from me and they do watch my channels. And on Instagram, they've told, they shared the picture of them and they're, they're doing really well. So, um, yeah, the problem is Instagram is just the best way to communicate with me. That's where I see messages, you know, and I get a notification. And it's just more for sure that I that I will see that than anything else. Uh, let's see if I can put this one here because it is it's wanting to can fall apart on me because it's just these I propagated them when oopsie they're see, keep breaking them stop it see, I'll propagate that but this one I had bought a while ago from the people and it didn't look good and uh, I beheaded it all. And planted these so um, what is it called they can be a little they're separated they didn't grow together you know so I have to be careful because they want they tend to want to fall look I'm so picky the ones that don't look full I want to remove them I'm making a mess over here I don't like planting over here because it'll be hard to clean the rocks um, if any soil goes I mean I use the blower so maybe it won't be that bad So I, that is right there. Oh, so another thing that I need to keep in mind with this. Hold on one second, let me see. Hold on, let me catch up on these. So here we go. Uh, Lily says, good morning. Uh, Diana, Diana says, where are you located? I am located in um, West Palm Beach, Florida. I bought one from you and it's doing great. Super prolific. Yes, it is. Thank you, Marissa. I hope I'm seeing the name right because it's a little bit hard to see. Here's a message in Spanish. Let me read it. Hola, tengo un cactus. Eso que se llaman guitos. Es tan grande como ese que tienes en tu mesa, pero no da flor. Porque, um, so el cactus viejo, no sé si lo hice porque todavía no me ha florecido. So no sé. Can you show us the pink flowers? Um, I'll go get one of the small ones and show you. Give me one second. Okay, let me see. So, here it is. So these are not pink flowers. They're actually plants. You know, they're the off, um, the offshoots, I guess, or offerings that you want. Um, so, what is it called? Um, this one, you can see, it's very upright, like this, 
It's getting off the sun where it is. Um, but yeah, it will do fine in like less sun, but this gets out to the sun currently right now. I don't know if I'll allow it to get afternoon sun in the summertime. I am not sure. I'm, I'm considering moving the table in the summer. I'm not sure. So that. Oh, I don't know the name of this euphorbia, but I'm sure if I, I would Google it like euphorbia with red leaves and it's going to come up. I promise you, you'll find it. Put, uh, when you Google euphorbia, just you Google euphorbia with red leaves and you're going to see it. There's a green one. There's a variegated one. I have a green one, a variegated one, a ghost one. Um, this other one, the one that fell over and I had, before it fell over, I had done something to it. You know, I like revamped it. And in the process of revamp, re revamping it, I removed a lot of branches that were just really bad with whatever it was, um, you know, mistreating the plant. And that plant got super happy because all the branches on top uh, tripled its heads. So it went from one head to now having three to four heads. Each little arm, that, you know, the arms that were on top. I'll show you later. I can't show you here. I'll post a picture on my Instagram. Guys, if you love succulents, for real, have an Instagram. I love, I will take Instagram over Facebook anytime. I love Instagram. It introduces you to so many accounts and so many different people that have the same love for plants that you do. And you make friends there. I've made friends and I talk to people and it's really cool. So um, I think you, should, you, you guys should do an Instagram. And if you do one, Friend request me like that we can stay in touch and chat and when I post on there I won't feel bad thinking that you guys might miss out because I do feel I do put Instagram and I'm like oh no I need to do it on YouTube as well because they will miss out as well but Instagram is very easy to manage you can keep it private if you want um so yeah what was I gonna do so now I have to decide what other plants to put in here uh, I have this one, and it grows, I don't know, like tall, so, oh yeah, I really like, I propagated this, and it propagated so well, look at how cute, I like how, com like, you know, I, sh I compact it in there, and it looks really cute, now, to take it out and keep it that way, right, and this is very, this likes water, it does, so, and I heard this likes water too, so when it's dry, well actually, you know, at Coast to Farms, they told me, it's the same as um, my YouTube channel. I believe it's the only one that says the succulent greenhouse on there. But um, in Coast to Farms, when I was there, they were growing this and I asked them how often they watered and she said twice a week she watered this. So, twice a week or every two days, I can't remember. But um, yeah, this plant can get really sad real quickly if it doesn't get enough water. Look at this. Look, I did this not too long ago. And look, look, all the roots are all the way down. It's already something that I can keep like this. I actually don't want to disturb it. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to remove some of this soil uh, without hurting this plant over here. Goodness. Let me see if I can do it without hurting the plant. And this one was also on that table that is, remember it's been there, I mean, what is it called? I've, my plants are already used to this. You can't just take a, a plant that hasn't been getting any sun and just put it there, you know? You have to make sure it's been. Some people will write to me and make a comment and say that their plants get afternoon sun and, and they're perfectly fine, but, and, and, Everywhere is different. You can't assume that because this person has their plants in afternoon sun is fine because I don't know what kind of afternoon sun they're getting. And where are they? Are they by the ocean where they get a lot of breeze and circulation? I have no idea. So those are just things to keep in mind. This is, I don't know if I'm going to like this, to be honest. This one is continues to fall having a hard time here I'm trying to 
Uh, the little plant is... Yeah, um, message me on Instagram, Diana, and we can talk. And if you on Instagram, let me see. I have you on Instagram. And, oh, hi, Lady Queen. How are your plants? Okay, good, good. Okay, I'm trying to put this one. I'm trying to keep this one intact. Wait a minute. I'm place it in the front. I want it in the front. I'm trying to do it without hurting this one. I can't push down. Okay, let's see. What is happening here? Guys, I got a new bike for Mother's Day. My husband got me a new bike. Um, when I pulled mine out of the shed, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So, And then he saw that I had started riding bike quite frequently. Uh, I never, I like I said, I never used to ride long distance. I did it like once or twice. But then other than that, then I was just, you know, riding around the neighborhood or... I've gone like to a park with, uh, like I've dr driven to a park and then rode my bike. But uh, I'm never, I never used to do that a long distance. And I just started and I like it. I do. I like it a lot. I, oh, I have some pictures that I'm going to share with you guys on Instagram. So I rode my bike through Palm Beach where the really rich people live. It's really nice there. And it's by the water and you should see the succulents that are there. I've only noticed one house that has succulents and you can tell that that arrangement has been there for a long time. And it gets afternoon sun. It gets afternoon sun and it is beautiful. I believe it has one of these plants in there. This, um, this is, I, I think the mini ghosty, I believe it's called. It's called the mini ghosty. So, um, yeah. I'm going to share with you guys on Instagram that so you guys can see. Okay, so now I think for a little bit of height, I'm going to use um, this one. So this one looks similar to the Firestorm. Firestorm. Hold on. Yeah, Firestorm. But it's not. I think that this is like Golden Sedum. They are. Oh, let me see. Okay. There are my east window and yes, a lot of people put their plants on the east windows um, if they have it, and they do really well. I'm kind of a little bit envious of that because I have south um, south facing sliding doors, and I do get light there, but I I would say it's not like a direct light, and then I have an overhang a little bit there, so I don't know. But yeah, I've seen pictures on Instagram, and I'll ask, I'll ask. Guys, don't be afraid to ask this to people. You know, people, people are nice so far, and they've always answered, unless they just don't happen to see your comment. Maybe they'll answer later on. I've done that. I've seen a comment a year later on YouTube, and I answer, and I feel terrible. But for some reason, I'll get notifications. Right now, currently, I have not been getting notifications. I have to go to every single video that I posted recently and I searched to see if I didn't heart a comment. That's how I know I read it. If I didn't heart the comment, then that means I haven't read it. So then I go back and make sure to look for those because they stand out to me. That's how it stands out that I didn't read it. And I read the comment. Oh, rust? Like, if this will rust? I think it will, but I don't think it will hurt the plant. I don't think so. So I think it's fine. You know, there's something, I haven't talked about it because I haven't looked into it. Well, metal planters, but I tried this before and it ruined the soil. 
Um, Titus, but did it hurt your plant? Like, did you feel like it was hurting your plant or no? This is galvanized. Um, I, so my, um, my big, my big fairy garden. Oh, it did? Hmm. My big fairy garden, that's a big galvanized bucket. And I can see rust and those plants are happy. Um, I'll show you guys, I guess, when I'm done doing this, I'll pick up the camera and show you. I'll pick up, the, when I'm done doing this, which I'm almost done, because I've been yapping here for the longest, I'll show you how the galvanized big bucket looks. You can see the rust on it, and that's been there already. And it's been a year, because I have been um, going through my... Oh, really? I don't, maybe it's what's in the can. Can it be the can material? Maybe galvanized? Is different than can material because galvanized things are meant to be um, used outside many people use um, yeah many people use galvanized um, tubs outside for different things for gardens for vegetable gardens so maybe it has to do with the metal that's in the can I have no idea because I've never had so far, I have not had a galvanizing rust at the bottom like that. So, but you know, I don't have, I, I can't say I have one for years and years, so I don't know. Just be careful with water. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it has something to, I have no problem with metal pots. Yeah. Many people I see on Instagram, they take pots and they, and they paint them and they're, they look beautiful. So I don't know. Um, okay. here's another one. I, I, I want these pots to look full, so that's the goal here. Oh, but you know what? I didn't think, so what I was trying to tell you guys is I needed to take in consideration that this bucket is going to be tilting, right? Because when you hang it, at least where I'm going to hang it, it tilts a bit. So, I don't know if these plants are going to fall out because I didn't push them down way deep in the bucket. So, I need to um, think about that. I need to really pack it tight so that um, it doesn't fall out. Now that you were in West Palm Beach, I have relatives there and also. Yep, yeah, I'm in West Palm Beach. What are you guys going to ask for Mother's Day? Uh, who, you know, if you guys are moms. Super. Super Kabuto hybrid last month and it cost a lot. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> That's brave. That is very brave. I'm a little bit scared always to spend a lot of money in plants. Um especially because I tend to take some risk with some plants so yeah I don't know I don't know if I can do it I okay so I bought and my most expensive plant like a single plant not an arrangement let me see was an astrophytum and yep it died it was $18 no, no, yeah, wait, that wasn't my expensive plant. My expensive plant was the $20, $20 variegated one that I just got. I did an unboxing of it. It says variegated unboxing, I think, or something like that. That was expensive, so I'm hoping that that one does well. So let's see if this thing is going to... I'm going to go hang this and then bring you guys with me, and then we'll look at it. Let's we'll see how it's gonna look. Oh, you know the Mother's Day arrangement that I made? I kept it. The governor's one. 
that I did. Oh, somebody read, somebody wrote if it's temporary. Oh, I didn't make the arrangements temporary. It just looked like that because I was using them to show different ways. But I definitely was going to plant it and it's going to grow roots and it's going to do well. I need to push this down. Okay, let's see. I still can feel some spaces where I can add more soil for, because when I put this up, it's going to tilt. So I'm keeping that in mind. I appreciate you guys being on here with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I appreciate all uh, the sweet comments I get. I do. They make my day. They make my day. Believe me, I'm just like anybody else. I'll question what am I doing? What's the purpose of my channel? Um, what is it called? Um, would I like to grow more? I think anybody would like to grow more, you know? And I look to see, I think about what can I do different? What can I do better? At the same time, it's intimidating to grow bigger, you know? Because then you put, I put a lot of pressure on myself. I do, especially now that I've decided to make videos in two languages. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I quickly think when I'm posting, when I, when I make a video in English, right? Because that's how my brain thinks. My brain processes in English. When I make a video and I'm going to post it for, um, in English for you guys, I have a guilt trip in my mind. I give myself a guilt trip that I'm, and pressure that, oh my gosh, you need to make this in Spanish because it's not fair. And that's what I'll do to myself. Give me a second. I do that to myself and yeah that's a lot of pressure let me see what happens okay can I change the camera yes so let me show you the bucket let me see can I read any comments any comments let's see uh, okay I enjoy the to breed new hybrids cool my mother's day gift was a hundred dollar 20 purchase from my, wow really I want to see please get an Instagram um, clutter creatives I want to see what you get oh yes uh, I can try Titus I'll definitely try to grow some plants if you guide me I've never planted here's maxi girl um, it is I believe let me see what time is it people in Florida is it 9 30 or 10 yeah 9 31 no that's um yeah it is 9 31 so I agree with Marissa okay let me see this is fun. You don't have to edit. It's nice knowing you're alive. Oh, thank you. Hi from Gainesville. Well, I love watching your videos and your plant while I do my plant work. Oh, that's me too. I do that. Well, that's my problem too. So I do the same thing. I want to listen. I want to pot and listen. But then I'm like, I can't. I got to make a video. I can't pot and not show them. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I have a weird mind. I do. I do. Look. Look at this precious baby. Maxi, I love you, baby. You're such a pretty girl. You're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. It's 10.30 at night, right, Titus? Over there. Aw, good morning, Donna. Yup. Look at that precious. Look at the belly. Look at, the, look at those spots. Look at those spots. It's so precious. Okay, so here's a euphorbia. See what I mean? So I trimmed, you can see the cuts. Cut, 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 I cut a bunch because they look like this. And let's see, here's the new growth. So I have to monitor this new growth and make sure that I don't see anything bad. Oh, that's great. Di oh, is it Di Diana? Am I saying it wrong, Diana? You see, look at the heads. One, two three four and they they have little leaves so it wasn't like this but look i see something no that's not it because uh that's their own white stuff i probably heard it at some point oh when it fell it got hurt when it fell it got hurt there and there's some white stuff but all these heads just came out after i trimmed her 8 30 from in indonesia oh look guys look what i got Look, I don't know anything about this. I don't know how to take care of it. YouTube is your friend. So I, I went to YouTube 
And I think that what I'm doing is okay. I don't know. They say you just hang it somewhere. And then you just put stuff that will compost. Like, you know, natural wood stuff on it. I have this rock so that it holds it down. And which, are you saying it's the euphorbia flowers? I've never seen any flowers on the euphorbia. I've only ever seen leaves. But there is euphorbia as that flower. And I'm impressed. Um, so if you guys follow CSG, CSG Succulents, he has the most cute. I have the same euphorbia, but mine, I don't know like how mature it has to be for it to flower. His flowers, like you will fall in love. You will want that euphorbia as well. Good morning from Mexico at 7.35 in the morning. So you see this guys? I got one. My neighbor gave it to me. So I hope it does well. See, these are doing well here. Remember this fell during the storm. I had a storm and the whole thing fell over. So I had to move it over here and, and repot it as well again. But let me show you the galvanized. Um, here's my mess. See, I, had, I have more to make, but this video is being so long already. Uh, I'll probably make a bit video. I'm not sure. Um, I need to add water. My water continues to go down rapidly in here. There's still a lot of water in there for them, but I like it to see it full. Um, these, they're not, they, they don't really like sun too much, but I think they're getting sun. But I'm not worried about it because most of them are making it through, so I'm not worried about it. But um, what was I going to tell you? Hi, Desiree from New, um, from New Mexico. Okay, let me see what else. Okay, so here's my, this is the, Titus, this is my, um, my bucket. And see, there's rust in there. And I've had it already a year here. These do well. They have not miraculously rotted it on me. And, um, these, the, the, main plant grew so big it was leaning over I, I chopped it off and it already had these babies growing so now all the energy will go to the the pups and they'll grow so see that's um that's metal i think that is the only metal thing that i've had long term that i can tell you that it's done okay so yeah that's um that i've never seen uh, a flower out of this. Titus, um, have you ever seen this one flower? I've never seen a flower out of that. Thank you. Thank you. So let me um, show you guys. Um, guys, I have a quick question. This is still not looking happy. Do you think that it needs water? Look at it. See, it needs water. I think it needs water. It doesn't look happy. I don't know. It's new. It's new to me. And I'm trying to get it there to grow. But we'll see. This trailing jade. Look at how happy this trailing jade is. Look at it. Look at it. And I've already cut it several times to propagate and spread out. I love this plant. It's just like a, such a fleshy plant. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So they, um, Titus says that this does flower. And as you can see, it's gotten big. So I had to have these sticks here. These are the sticks. These are bamboo sticks. Um, these were in um, some orchids that I had, but it didn't need it. So I, I used it on there. Hey, Max, are you going to move? Are you going to move from there? Huh? She's just there bumming. Okay, so let me show you. I cleaned my greenhouse, but... um. I know I did something, so there's a little mess. But I cleaned it the other day. It was good. See, there's just a tiny little mess there. Oh, look, lizard shot. Lizard shot on the lithobs. Look at it. There's always lizards in here. <laughs> They're welcome. Oh, look, guys. Look. Look at the variegation. Let me turn off uh, the fan. Okay, so I brought this in here because it is variegated, but because it's getting lots of, well, when we had a lot of rain recently, um, it 
the variegation went away. So I think in order for it to have variegation, I have to kind of stress it out a little. And at least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and look, look at that one. So, um, yes, this one. Um, if you go to CSG, CSG Succulents on Instagram, it's a C as in cat, S as in salmon, G. You will see this beautiful plant and it has yellow flowers. It is beautiful. And I'm like, when is mine going to flower? I'm hoping that it does get enough sun here to flower because if a cactus or a euphorbia um, does not get enough sun, it won't produce a flower. So I've had, though, I've had um, plants flower for me here, but uh, one of these should be getting ready to flower because when I purchased it, it did flower, but I don't see any buds coming out. So I don't know if maybe it hasn't been getting any like enough sun, but this gets a lot of sun. So I don't get it. Sometimes I just don't get plants. This one flowers a lot. Spikely. Okay. Spike Lee is talking to Titus. Hold on. Can you see? Spike Lee, make sure you follow Titus on Instagram because I think you guys can continue talking in case I finish the video. So anyway, so yeah, that one flowers a lot. I wish I had more of this one. I It's so beautiful. I don't have more. I want to, I'm tempted to propagate it. I don't know the name. And it's not, this is not the, um, the, the burrito. It's not. It's different. And it's so beautiful. So, um, yeah. What else was I going to show you guys? I think that was it. Now I just needed to hang. To see to hang if I should hang the planner. Or try to hang the planner. But look at this. I'm so proud of this planner right here. I hope it makes it through the summer. It looks really pretty. And I just. This will get um, afternoon sun. So I just hope that it makes it through the sun. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Look at my... Um, Desert Rose does get mealybugs. You gotta watch that. It does get mealybugs quite frequently. So yeah, I never used. To, I never thought about mealybugs until succulents. Okay, so here it is. Um, so let me hang this. I'm gonna. I'll show you where I would like to put it, but I don't know. You know if it will make it. Look at how many flowers. So pretty. See this? When it gets a little, I don't know, when it looks like that, um, you can chop it up and then it'll grow back really nice. But uh, I'm still giving it time because it has a lot of flowers. So, let's see if I can hang this with one hand, guys, because I don't know. And another thing is, some of these hold better than others. Hold on one second. What can I prop you guys while I do this? Hi, from Colorado, Kevin. Hold on one second. See these? Some of these have better pockets than others. Mm -mm. I don't know if I could put it on here, to be honest. It's not, I don't know if it's going to hold. Let's put it over here. Because I know over here, I have some. There it is. Oh, look at how cute. I need to make sure that there's some, some gaps in here because I'm, I'm like weary that if there's not enough gap between both of these woods that it might fall. So can you just picture this with a bunch of these? I would like to find more of those um, from the Dollar Tree. I did see someone post on Instagram some small ones, but I'm not sure. Obviously, they're not from Dollar Tree. They're colorful. So I was trying to guess possibly where they might might have got it from. I thought about checking Dollar General because they're little. They look, I want to guess the size. The size looked to me to be like three to four inches and they're colorful. So look at how cute that looks. So can you imagine if this grows really pretty and full? Sorry, my neighbor's outside. So yeah, I just did that, and I'm really liking this here. 
I was wondering why this is look wet, guys. Because I didn't wet this. And, yeah, it's like that. I know, it's weird. Oh, thank you, Guadalupe. I'm very nervous today. I plan on watering all my 100 plus mini succulents. I mean, if you haven't watered for a long time, don't be. Are they outside, you know? Um, if you, oh, it's better always to water less than to overwater. So maybe if you're so scared, I don't know, don't drench them. I have, it's very difficult for me to give advice on that because I don't know how quickly it's going to dry. But if you know that it hasn't been watered for a long time, then giving it a good drink should not hurt them. Uh, I was going to, oh yeah, let me show you the one that I made for Mother's Day that I kept. That plant down there because I had to inspect it to make sure that there was no mealy bugs because I saw a lot of ants hanging around so that's why I put that there let's go over here okay so here's my um here is uh, this one that I did for the Mother's Day it's hanging underneath the palm because uh, I don't want it to get afternoon Sun because it doesn't have roots and um i'm watching out for rain so we don't have any no rain for a week so hopefully these will be they should be fine if it, if it does if it's gonna rain i could just pick it up easily and move it you know just gotta um just keep it in mind when you do things like that this thing is all wobbly here i need to glue it so it can stay upright i've thought about painting it different colors but i can't motivate myself like i want it different colors so that it looks uh prettier but I can't motivate myself maybe I'll do it later so here's this I did that some of you guys were saying someone mentioned that I should do that and I had 